I've been on a quest to catch a muskie on a fly rod. And this little video is about my leader system. There's a ton of debate on the internet about what's the best leader to use when you're trying to, when you're fishing for muskie with a fly rod. And I've kind of tried most of them. And I got on the internet and I watched every YouTube video ever made about fly leaders for muskie. And I've come up with my own little system. I took ideas from about a half a dozen guys and blended them together to come up with my own system. And that's what this video is about. All the stuff I tried and what I ended up with. And I'll post a link to a couple of videos of the two main guys I stole from. So look at all this stuff. All of this is leader material for musky on the fly. There's a ton of debate about what's the best musky leader. Well, short answer, the one you like and the one you have confidence in, that's the best one. I'm going to show you how I started and what I ended up with. My very first was this one. Tough line. Says it ties like mono. It's very flexible. But it's rough. And so I was trying to tie that to the line and it would just eat through the line. You could use this. It would work. You would need a swivel to tie this to your line and probably some other type of connection to connect to the fly. But I quickly figured out I did not like this. The problem is it's really limber, so it doesn't help you turn the fly over when you're casting. You need something stiffer. And here is 50 pound monofilament, 80 pound monofilament, 30 pound monofilament. Now this is this one will work and it's a reasonably inexpensive alternative. This is Berkley Steel-On Nylon Coated Wire. And you can kind of tie it. But it's also made to work with crimps. Sometimes called barrel sleeves. Or in this case wire leader connector sleeves. And when I still fish for musky using live bait this is what I would sometimes make quick strike rigs with. Okay, and then this is actually from Hobby Lobby. It's 40 pound test. And it's the wire they use for making bead, beaded necklaces and beaded bracelets. And you can tie it good, but same deal, too limber. And here is 80 pound fluorocarbon, which a lot of people say that's all you need. Just straight 80 pound fluorocarbon. The muskies won't bite through it. But then the next guy says, I lost a fish of a lifetime because he bit through my 80 pound test. And here's a 130 pound test with crimps. The double barrel crimp, you put the floral carbon through one side, take it back to the other, you put your fly or your swivel or whatever you're using, put it back through there, squeeze it down, crimp it. One guy will say, oh, you got to have crimps if you're using 130-pound fluoro. And the next guy will say, oh, the crimps will slip and damage your line. And then this is old school. A guy gave me this a long time ago. This is South Bend Luxon stainless steel leader wire. And this is what everybody seems to be using now. This is the latest, greatest thing. It says it's knotable, but I think that's mostly marketing. And as you can see, it's really small. You're supposed to be able to tie knots in this. And you can tie like a clinch knot and tie your swivel on there. 
and it's kind of okay but I can't get the knots to seat up properly and most people say oh that's fine but it really bothers me that those knots don't seat up properly here's my current setup 80 pound fluorocarbon loop to loop connection to the end of the fly line with a figure of eight loop it's a little stronger than the double surgeon's loop then we drop down to 30 pound fluorocarbon tied on with a double uni knot and a little dab of super glue and then we drop down to 20 pound fluorocarbon same deal double uni knot a little bit of super glue the 20 pound section is the weak point that's where I want it to break 